This past Friday night at 7 o'clock, Kim, our acquisitionist that's been with us 18 years, she's working late on Friday night. And check this out. We went under contract to buy an oceanfront, direct ocean view, up in the sky, drop-dead gorgeous condominium. Almost got 1,500 square feet. That's a lot of square footage for a condominium around here. Oceanfront. After repaired value, $625,000. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. The topic is the what is the fastest way to get your first private lender or your next private lender? I'm so excited to have this discussion. I'm going to um, I'm going to put a few uh, platinum and mastermind members on the hot seat. And I'm going to ask them in their opinion and from their experience, what is the fastest way to get your next or your first private lender? And uh, so we're going to have a great discussion about that. <clears throat> use the chat. I encourage you to use the chat. If you got any kind of questions about raising private money, what is private money, how to get private money, terms about private money, where you find private lenders, anything you can think of that you might want to know about private money. Be sure and type those questions in the chat. I want to share something with y'all that I'm just all excited about. I know y'all want to hear about this. I mean, we're talking deals, right? So uh, what's today? Today is Wednesday. So yeah, this past Friday night at 7 o'clock, Kim, our acquisitionist that's been with us 18 years, she's working late on Friday night. And check this out. We went under contract to buy an oceanfront, direct ocean view, up in the sky, drop-dead gorgeous condominium. Almost got 1,500 square feet. That's a lot of square footage for a condominium around here. Oceanfront, after repaired value, $625,000. $625,000 is the after repaired value. Uh, repairs, less then $10,000, all it needs is a front door and maybe interior paint. I'm not even convinced of that yet. So after repaired value is $625,000, repairs less than ten. Who wants to guess what I'm under contract to buy this property for? Three fifty. dollars You know, that was his first asking price. But then, and I was all excited about that, but then somebody else offered him 400. He says, well, you're going to have to beat 400 to get it. And I told Kim, I said, offer him $425,000 and we'll close it in seven days, all cash. And that's what we're doing. I, I didn't have to take this deal to the committee, right? For approval, 625 after repaired value, less than 10 repairs, buy for 425 sort of seems to work for me right now let me tell you the secret to getting that deal the secret to getting that deal was being able to close in seven days so why do they discount it you know julius that's a great question you know i used to try to figure out why in the world people do what they do but i got a pretty good guess julius thank you terry uh, seven day, very enticing offer. Yes. So here's my guess as to why I'm buying this beautiful. I mean, I, I want to like stay there before I sell it, but $200,000, I guess I'll just have to forego that. But anyway, I got two really good guesses as to why we're buying this property for 425. They got two big motivators. Number one, it's inherited. It's, in, it's still in the name of the seller's parents, but both the father and the mother have passed away. It's inherited. He lives out of state. 
he don't have any interest in it. But here's another really big motivator. It's going to the courthouse steps for sale as foreclosure on June the 6th. So that's probably sort of playing into that sale as well, because come June 6th, ain't nobody getting any money <laughs> except the bank who, who was selling it. Uh, how did I get the lead? I got the lead by Google paper lead, not paper click. We don't do our own Google ads and stuff. So I pay a service. I've got four different services that I use, but anyway, uh, it was, it was a Google pay per lead. So that's my win. We got time for another win. Who wants to celebrate something? Go ahead. Whoever's talking. Oh, hello there, Banjo. Hey, uh, so we, we had a goal set to do at least one flip per month and make at least 30 grand on it per month and started in January. And so far we're tracking right along. Uh, of course we're making a little bit more than 30 grand per flip, but we, we're, we're tracking one flip per month so far this year. My lands, Banjo, that right there deserves the very sophisticated golf clap right there. Congratulations, Scott Crystal. Say hello and who you are. Absolutely. I'm Crystal Baker, and I started investing in real estate back in 1996. Super traditionally, I would buy a house um, using the bank. Uh, I would typically, it was my side hustle, so I'd purchase it, move in, work on it, and after about a year, would sell it. So I did pretty well in that, um, fortunately. And then uh, around 2008 uh, time frame, I had decided to get married and have kiddos a little, little late in life. So I decided that it was time to kind of drop the side hustle. So I sold my last house in a bidding war. And unfortunately, when my daughter was a baby, I found myself a single mom, which was not part of my game plan. That being the case, uh, I was working a million hours as an occupational therapist in leadership. And so nights, weekends, long, long, long days, and uh, just knew that I needed to do something different uh, and not have the daycare raising my kids and us existing rather than living. So started looking at real estate, took a bunch of courses, hired coaches and mentors, did not go particularly well at the beginning. However, I found myself at the... Um, a live event in the room with Jay Connor. And I knew at that point, despite having invested so much already that I was in the right place and I, and I absolutely needed to do it. So I signed up um, to do the platinum program. And after about nine months, I stepped away from a 26 year career as an occupational therapist in leadership and woo! went to real estate. <laughs> it was very woo. Um, totally changed my life. Everything that like, could never have had a perception that my life could be so amazing. So raising my kids, going and being a room mom, traveling, just just absolutely fantastic. And shortly thereafter, Jay had asked if I would help uh, coach the students. So I, of course, said yes. I got my coaching certification. I now work with all of the students, both in the Platinum, Platinum Plus and Mastermind levels. So I help. Um, I'm on all accountability calls, Platinum Q&A calls. Hour of Power Hotline. I provide general support by phone and email. I help facilitate with the Mastermind Group. I'm at all the live events, and it has been the greatest blessing and allows me to really live out my passion by helping others. I I've, would have never thought that'd be my path in life, but it is so fantastic. And I thank you so much, Jay Connor, for allowing me to be a part of this family. It is just really a dream to get to enjoy my time the way I do. Work is work is play. So thank you so much for that. Yeehaw, right there. <laughs> I, 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 one of the big benefits is you like sort of get to set your own schedule, don't you, Crystal? You get to go to Mexico when you want to go to Mexico. <laughs> you take along who you want to take with you to Mexico, all that kind of good stuff. Thank you for all the contributions that you bring to our community and our membership. If you've just joined us, today's topic is... The fastest way to get your first or next private lender, if you've got experience in doing that, share in the chat. We want to hear how you got your first private lender uh, or one that you got recently. Um, I've got some platinum and masterminds we're going to put on the hot spot here. So Chaffee, say hello and who you are. Hello, everyone. My name is Chaffee Tanwin. As Jay uh, Connor says, uh, yeehaw. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Um, so who am I? Um, I was, uh, when I was growing up, I was forced into this mantra called go to school, get good grades, 
and get a job. And I did exactly that. I graduated as an engineer, went into the corporate world and started working as an engineer and quickly found out that this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> so uh, I was in the corporate world for uh, over 10 years, though, and very successful in the corporate world. And again, realizing that this is not what I wanted to do, I looked for something else and I found this thing called real estate investing. And this was in the early 2000s. Started investing in real estate, buying and selling properties in multiple different states. Got into uh, development, uh, buying raw land, developing and titling land, um, and building triplexes and uh, getting onto bigger, better deals. And along that journey, um, I got asked a lot of questions by a lot of people, and I fell in love with this thing called coaching. I realized that every single time I worked with a great coach, my businesses grew. And I love that feeling of that light bulb going on, going, aha, oh, wow, I could do that or I could do this. And then helping other people get that light bulb themselves. And so I started transitioning into coaching. I've been coaching full time in my own business since 2008. And along that journey, I met this guy named Jay Connor at a, an event that I was coaching. And uh, we immediately connected and kept in touch over the years. And then when Jay decided to launch and and go big with his coaching program, um, said, uh, hey, come, uh, Chaffee, come join the party and, and help me do this uh, coaching mentoring thing with this real estate program that I got. And I got to tell you, Jay, you know, from our humble beginnings over a decade ago <laughs> to, of, of that one pamphlet and one CD that you had of where to get the money now to what you've been able to grow and the team that you put together and the family, I, I really say family, that has um, uh, come around you. It's just been, as Crystal said, a wonderful journey, and uh, thank you so much for having me, and, and I enjoy every every moment of it. Absolutely. We've been partying for over a decade now, Chaffee, at all the live events. Lawrence in the chat says, it's best to buy a private lender list to get your first or your next private lender. Lawrence, we're going to talk about that. Thank you for putting that there. Derek says in the chat, 495. Derek, I don't know what that means, but we'll come back around to you. It was a guess on what you purchased the property for, Jay. Oh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. A couple of those. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Well, um, that was a good guess, Derek, but now you know the answer, 425. Terry, I like your number better, 320. I answered Julius's question. Thank you, Terry. And uh, Lily, yes, I saw you in Texas last year. Happy birthday to you next week. Um, Banjo and Erica, you got some shout outs there on great job on your journey so far this year. Uh, Ashley puts in the, uh, put in the chat and y'all make a note of this. For those of you that are Private Money Academy members, you also are able to join the private Facebook group as a Private Money Academy member. And uh, all you got to do is um, search for Jay's Private Money Academy. Well, um, what do they search for, Ashley, to get in the Facebook group? I forgot to put Connor. <laughs> it's supposed to be Jay Connor's Private Money Academy members. If I could edit that, I would. Okay. So just go to Facebook. If you are a Private Money Academy member, um, just go to Facebook, search for Jay Connor's Private Money Academy members. Ask to join and Ashley will uh, confirm you are a member and she'll let you in. If you're not in the Private Money Academy membership, then come check us out for 30 days free at jconnor.com forward slash trial. jconnor.com forward slash trial. Come hang out with us for a free 30 days. And all these Zoom trainings we do are archived in the membership. And uh, with that, uh, Crystal, since I've asked, uh, well, I'm going to put some Platinum and Masterminds on the hot seat here uh, to answer the question, fastest, quickest way to get your first private lender or your next private lender. Crystal, please introduce our Platinum and Masterminds that we've got here on the Zoom. Absolutely. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Crystal. Tim, congratulations. Tim is closing on their fifth property on the 29th of this month. Y'all give a great big golf clap right there to Tim on closing that property coming up here on the 29th of this month. Congratulations, Tim. Back to you, Crystal. Okie dokie. Um, Becky, so Becky of Becky and Kelly Castles. I don't see Kelly, but um, Platinum Plus and Masterminds, Platinum Plus graduates and Masterminds. Eric and Erica Comrado, Platinum Plus graduates and Mastermind. Tim and Robin Benskin, 
Platinum Plus and Mastermind. Lee and Lynette Greider, Platinum Plus and Mastermind. Norman Luxfetter, uh, Platinum Plus. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Kara and Jonathan Broyles, Platinum Plus graduates and Mastermind. And okay, I think that's everybody. All right, welcome, Platinum and Mash. I'm sorry. I just said, hopefully, I didn't miss anyone. Please, please put your hand up if I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome, Platinum and Mastermind members here to the Zoom training. So, Chaffee and Crystal, let's put some folks on the hot seat right now. So, if I if I had one of those like little spinning things like you see at the game shows. I'd put Platinums and Masterminds in there and spin them around. So uh, so here we go. Uh, let's pull one out of the hat. Becky and Kelly. Or is it Becky or is it Kelly or is it just Becky? Just Becky today. Oh, there you are, Becky, in your beautiful spring green top right there. So <laughs> Becky is a graduated Platinum and her husband, Becky and Kelly, and has uh, been in Mastermind now for more than one year. Maybe three years. I'll lose track of time. Two. Anyway, very, very <laughs> active. Two years. Uh, they do deals. They raise private money. They are an amazing couple. So, Becky, I'm putting you on the hot seat. From your experience, what's the fastest way to get your first private lender or your next private lender? Talk to the people you know. Just Talk the people that the people. You, so if y'all are not taking notes, <laughs> now would be a good time. When would now be a good time to start taking notes? Cut the gab, get on the pad. So talk to people, you know. So let me give a little comment on that, Becky. And then I want us to drill down. Chaffee and Crystal, you can help help me interview these Platinum and Masterminds. Again, if you're not a Platinum or Mastermind, type in the chat your ideas or experience. We'll talk about them, too. So Becky says, talk to the people, you know. There are three categories of where you find private lenders. You might want to write these down. The three categories of where private lenders are and who they are is number one, what we call your warm market. And your warm market is exactly what it sounds like. Those are people you know or have got some kind of connection with. Um, Becky, be thinking about my next question, which is what are the steps to talking to people you know? What are the steps? to talking to people, talking to people, you know, so this is what you say. So your warm market people that, um, people that have, that are in your cell phone, you go to church with, you play golf, um, you play poker, uh, who knows? I don't know how you know them, right? There is social media, email list, Christmas card list, everybody, you know, and so that's the first, that's one category people that you've got some kind of connection with. That's warm market. Second category of where you find private lenders is what we call your expanded warm market. Your expanded warm market. So what in the world is your expanded warm market? You know, real estate investors that are starting out raising private money, I hear it all the time. They say, my warm market's broke. My people ain't got no money. Well, first of all, I don't believe them. Uh, but secondly, whether you think you got money in your warm market or not, by the way, you do. But I think you, I, I teach and practice you should expand your warm market, grow your warm market. Well, how do you do that? Well, it's real easy. You get involved in your community. You can join the Rotary Club. You can join the local Business Networking International. I've gotten over a million dollars just from the local Business Networking International group. Um, so you get involved. Right. And there's, there's all kinds of other groups that we teach and talk about. So that's your expanded market. The third category of exist of uh, private lenders are what we call existing private lenders, existing private lenders. These are individuals, by the way, if you're new here, we're not talking hard money. This has got nothing to do with hard money. This has got nothing to do with institutional money. This is getting money from individuals just like you and me that are loaning money to us real estate investors, either from their investment capital and or their retirement funds. Now, if they're, if they're borrowing, if they're loaning us money from their retirement funds, 
they got to move those funds over to an IRS approved self-directed IRA company. We recommend questtrust.com out of Houston, Texas. I get my deals funded in three days from my private lenders that have accounts at Quest. So existing private lenders. Well, here's the thing. When you borrow money from, a, from an existing private lender, you're not putting on your teacher hat like I have on right now. You're not teaching those existing private lenders what private money is. They already know what private money is. They're a private lender. They're already loaning it out. You know, the thing about the warm market and your expanding warm market is we get to make the rules. We make the rules. We set the interest rate. We set the term. We set the frequency of payment, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, when I was borrowing money from the banks, they made the rules. Well, when you're borrowing money from an existing private lender, that it's a, it's a negotiation process, right? It's a negotiation process because they, they already know. Uh, they already know the game. Where do you find existing private lenders. Well, if you are an owner of my new private money success system, you get access to the private lender data feed, which we update every month. We get every private lender loan closing in the nation. You get their contact information, et cetera, interest rates they're being paid. We get about 12,000 a month private lenders in that data feed. Uh, but in addition to that, you may find it interesting to know that self-directed IRA companies such as questtrust.com, they have a free Zoom networking event the fourth Wednesday every month at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. And their account holders come to that Zoom wanting to loan you money. That's what they want to do. Over 70% of Quest Trust account holders want to loan you money from their account. They want to loan money to real estate investors. So you can go there for free. You don't have to be an account holder. You can go there for free. They put you in breakout rooms. You can network with each other. Again, the challenge though, with existing private lenders, you're now into a negotiation process. You're not making the rules. I got 47 private lenders. Not one of them ever heard of private money until I put on my teacher hat. None of them ever heard of self directed IRAs, right? And so that's the difference. That's the categories of where uh, private lenders are back to you, Be uh, Becky, drill that down for us. Talk to people, you know, what are the steps of that and what's that look like? Well, for us, we were starting something new, you know, Kelly was leaving one job, starting something new. So it kind of created some natural interest into what we were doing. And, uh, so it, it kind of brought up about those natural conversations about investing into real estate, how we were doing it, um, the things that we were you know, learning and we really um, utilized your uh, script, I guess you could say, for lack of a better word, about wanting some help. Um, we had a the webinar where we asked for help, people to come listen to what we were doing. We got a private lender immediately from the webinar. Um, also, you know, had a luncheon and had people come help us by listening to what our uh, our new program was our new investment or new working uh, business was that really helped a lot. And we've gotten private lenders every time we've done something like that. How much private money have you and uh, Kelly raised so far? So Chris will ask that the other day and we, we haven't gone back and added up, but somewhere in between six and 700,000 somewhere. Well, that deserves a golf clap right there. 600, <laughs> $700,000 in private money. Um, sort of transformed your business, didn't it? It did. Absolutely. So let's unpack what Becky just shared. Y'all should be writing this down. When she says, talk to people, you know, you're simply telling people what you're now doing, right? You open your mouth and you say, here's what I'm doing. And here's the script. I've now opened up my real estate investing business to people I know and trust by referral only. I've now opened up my real estate investing business to people I know by referral only, and I'm paying insane high rates of returns. I need your help. When you run across somebody that's complaining about the stock market volatility and getting no money and CDs, would you refer them to me? That's called the indirect method. You know, of all these 47 private lenders, I've never asked for money and never pitched a deal. 
I've never asked for money. I never pitched a deal. How do we do that? Well, you put on your teacher hat, teach the program first. Don't bring in a deal for that conversation because now desperation's got a smell. You stink. You stink if you bring up a deal and private money in the initial conversation. So we separate those conversations. Then you give them the great news phone call when you've got a deal for them to fund. No pitching at all. Becky, you mentioned webinar. So you can get the word out by doing a webinar, inviting people to your webinar and teaching your private lending program, the interest rates you're paying, and et cetera. You mentioned private lender luncheon, right? All you Platinums and Masterminds, you all do that. Um, and then one-on-ones. Becky, thank you for sharing. Y'all, let's give Becky one great big golf clap right there. Thank you, Becky. All right, next hot seat, uh, Crystal and Chaffee. Let's put in the hot seat right now. Did I hear you say, Crystal, that Kara Broyles is with us? She is with us. Say hello, Kara. Hello. There you are at the top How of my you? screen. <laughs> hey, Kara. Um, hey. Your husband, Jonathan, I heard through the grapevine, was not able to join us today because what's he doing on some property out there that you got going on? <laughs> oh, he's uh, checking the punch list that we had, a long list, um, so we can list our property next week. Um, so he was going oh. through that with a fine tooth comb, making sure everything looked perfect so we could put it on the market and get a quick high sale. So you're getting ready to cash out on a property. Mm -hmm. That's right. Did you fund it with private money? Absolutely. Well, we want to hear the numbers, don't we? <laughs> so great. Numbers right here. We want to hear numbers, don't we? Do you know numbers off the top of your head? I don't know. If, well, hang on. I could probably. Have you, got, have you got ballpark numbers? We want to hear numbers. We want the nitty gritty. <laughs> All right. This one, um, we bought it for 273000 All right. You bought it for two seventy three. And the ARV is 425. Tell everybody what ARV is. After repair value that we got from our realtor. She um, pulled comps and uh, gave us a very um, direct number. So that's very important. So let, me, let me put this here now in the phone here now. So you got, you're, you're selling it for 425, right? Well, actually, she just told us that we can probably list it for a little more than that. But that's what she told. That's what we based our numbers on was four twenty five. OK, so we'll be conservative. So four twenty five. And what'd you buy it for? Two seventy three. Two seventy three. And what were the repairs? Sixty seven thousand on repairs. Sixty seven thousand. So we got a gross profit of eighty five thousand. Mm -hmm. What percentage are you paying your uh, realtor? Five percent. We pay her five. Yes. All right. So five. so round figures, you're gonna subtract twenty thousand for realtor fees. Then you got a little bit of carrying costs. So you're at sixty five thousand dollars with a little bit of carrying costs going on there. So you probably got about sixty thousand, fifty five, sixty thousand. That deserves a golf clap right there. <laughs> sixty thousand dollars going into your pocket. Because you're Thank using you. private money. How much private money you all raised so far, Kara? We are over one point five now. Uh, 1.5. I think I hear the word million after right. that, right? Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Another golf clap for one and a half million dollars in thank private you. money. Woo, I just had a chill go up my spine <laughs> when I heard that. All right, Carol, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Fastest, quickest way to get your first or next private lender. Well, Becky, <laughs> she nailed it. Um, obviously, talking to people is pretty critical um, if you're, but um, for me, our first private lender wound up being my mom. Um, she had, um, so my dad, mom, he passed away and she found herself with a lump sum that her financial advisor brother um, advised her to put in a money market. And um, she was getting very, very, very low return on it. Um, and so when we started up our business, we of course shared the program with her. She couldn't pull her money out quick enough um, to start investing with us. Um, and she, so I think she, at one point she was making less than $700 a year. <laughs> <laughs> something around there and now she's making over twelve thousand um a year yeah. so, so you're, is... making, 
you're making an impact in her financial mm-hmm. yes being. absolutely and that's very important to me you know as her daughter of course and always wanting her money to be using being used nonstop. so we're very intentional i mean we we want to use all of our private money but um she's obviously a special person for us so um so that was our first lender um but yeah you know Every time Jonathan and I sat down and would talk about like who we know or who we met and we're like, ooh, Ooh, (laughs) it would be great. It actually doesn't turn out to be who lands with us. It's the person we're not expecting or that we think have tons of money, you know, but there's a lot of people out there that do have money, their capital or, you know, um, real estate, I'm sorry, um, investment, investment capital and retirement funds. I'm going to get it right here. Um, that they just really don't know what to do with it or they're just paying, playing it super safe or not safe. It's because it's in the, uh, in the stock market. So anyways, they just aren't, we're aware of this option. And so we feel really excited to be able to share this with others. We're, um, we tell everyone that we know about it because they're like, oh, what are you guys up to? And we, of course, share that we're buying and selling real estate. And the way we do that is through private lending, pri- private money lending. So um, it's it's been neat. And then one last thing here real quick. Um, there was one fella who posted on Facebook about this off market property he was selling. He was the owner and he happened to be a realtor also. Um, And so we wound up looking at the property and we bought it from him um, and he had to, it took him some time for the close because he did hard money um, to buy that house. And then I guess he just decided not to do anything with it. And so he's like trying to work it out with his hard money lender and, paying him. And anyways, it sounded like it was pretty stressful. And so then of course he's hearing how we're purchasing the property and um, he calls us up. We've already closed on the property and everything. And he's like, Hey, I just can't get what you told me out of my, out of, out of my mind. He said, what are you doing? How are you buying your properties? Like, you're setting the <laughs> rates you're and I'm like, yeah, this is you know, our program. And so anyways, he was just like intrigued, you know, so he's someone who wants to do real estate investing and um, just really had his mind open to this possibility. So it's cool. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it. Y'all give Kara another golf clap for sharing. Thank you for sharing Kara. Let's put, let's put Banjo on the hot seat right here. Banjo and his wife, Erica, Graduated platinum, um, active mastermind members. I don't know how many years you've been in. Ten years, banjo. I don't know. Three, <laughs> three years now. <laughs> <laughs> banjo is on his way now to being a certified coach. Also, uh, so congratulations on getting that started, banjo. So, banjo, what's the fastest way to get your first private lender or your next private lender? Well, Becky and. Um... And, and uh, Kara said, you got to talk to people, right? And so we know we have to talk to people. You gave them the script of what you what we have to tell them. I would say the most important thing that made me my first, got me my first private lender and it's going to get me my next private lender is to make a plan. And so in the beginning, the plan looked a little bit different for me than it did for Erica, but it was definitely an, a plan of action and a plan of consistency where we, I were, I was calling twelve, uh, at least five of my warm market contacts per day, and talking to them about our private lending program. And Erica was using the direct method, and Erica was uh, Facebook messaging everybody in her warm market using the indirect method. Fast forward nowadays, when you run out of your warm market, you gotta, you gotta start networking. You gotta talk to people and make new friends, expand your warm market. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and what my plan is now is to have at least one one to one sit down or phone call with a potential private lender per week. Um, so that's I would say have a consistent a, a plan and and take action consistently. So there's a key word right there if you're taking notes consistently. You know the worst time to be attracting private money is when you need it for a deal, right? 
these gurus going around telling people, and I know every one of y'all have heard what I'm getting ready to say. They go around saying, oh, just get the deal under contract. The money will show up. That like makes me want to just cuss. And I don't even cuss. For goodness <laughs> sakes. I mean, hey, raise your hand if you've ever heard anybody say that. Oh, just get the deal under contract. The money will show up. You heard that? Yeah, where's the money going to show up? Like going to rain out of clouds or something, you know? It just makes sense to me. Be consistent, like Banjo says. Attract the private money. Get it lined up. There's always going to be deals. Um, Banjo, just so everybody knows that you know what you're talking about, how much private money you and Erica raised so far? Over $2.5 million so far. Two and a half million. Give a golf clap right there for two and a half million in private money. That's amazing, Banjo. Um, yeah, you know, I, I thought I was really going to be able to share with some folks some really good stuff, but you know, when I let you all go first, you're like taking my best stuff away. Right. Um, so thank you for sharing that. Uh, Banjo, let's come up to you, uh, Crystal, sure. my lands, I'll put you on the hot spot, but then again, you're put on the hot spot every day with all these members. They put you on Pretty the much. hot spot. You just, you were on the hot spot for an hour from 3 PM to 4 PM for our power. Right. That's so, right. I'm not letting you off the hook. Uh, oh. <laughs> from your from your experience, Crystal, fastest and uh, best way to get your first private lender or your next one. Yeah. So, um, so everybody said um, some fantastic things already. So I would definitely echo what was shared. Um, and I want to emphasize the consistency thing. To me, the fastest way is just to make sure you're talking to as many people as possible. And so those people in your warm market are going to be your fastest method to do that. But making sure that you're planting seeds. So consistently having conversations, sharing the audio that you record um, for us, uh, talking about your program, presenting to as many people as you can, getting those one-on-ones, setting up those meetings. So I know I just kind of reiterated what was said, but my point is... The fastest method is as many as you can. So you need to be doing it consistently all the time. You know, I, I really took it to heart when we talked about, you know, networking, getting it out there and getting out there, talking to my warm market and sharing with people. I was sending out five every single solitary day and doing more than that on days that I had more opportunity to do so. It was really just that intentional, consistent, solid effort. And that's really what vets it out. It, you know, the, the, the key difference is you could say, absolutely talk to the people that are in your warm market, but you're, if you're not doing that a lot <laughs> consistently, you don't have a plan in place, then it's not going to happen as quickly. And if we're talking about how you're going to make that happen quickly, it's really about your, your intentionality, your consistency and doing so all of the time, mm -hmm. just as many people as you possibly can. How much private money you raised, Crystal? 4.75 mil right now. There's a golf clap right there for four and three quarters million in private money. Wow. Um, thank you for sharing, Crystal. Crystal, I'm going to come back to you to get us current on the chat here in just a minute. Yep. Uh, Chaffee Ton Win, my lands. You've done about every kind of real estate deal there is to do, from wholesaling to commercial to single family to virtual investing. Uh, on and on and on, land, blah, 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 developments, et cetera. And you've raised a bunch of private money, of course. What's the fastest and quickest way to get your first lender or your next lender? So, so Jay, um, <clears throat> the, how do you say this? As you said, you know, let me set the stage first, right? <laughs> so <laughs> the stage is the first step to raising private money or doing anything successful is getting your head on right. I think we you've mentioned that many times is that you got to get in this mindset of I am going to go out there and help as many people as I can make more money on their money, period, right? And so in, in essence, you're creating a sense of urgency within yourself to go out there and make something happen. And I think, you know, if you think about it, if everybody here thinks about a time when they had you know, a deadline for a project or they were had to do something, you know, very large or it, it seemed insurmountable and you know you had to get it done, you went out and you attacked it, right? You went out and you did everything you can. You did, you know, whatever it took, you went out and you did it. And that's the kind of mentality that you want to get into if you want to raise a lot of money quickly, right? And so 
you know, it's, I agree with everybody uh, that has uh, talked before is that you got to go out, talk to people. You got to be consistent. You got to, you know, do all this kind of stuff. And I got to say the first step, though, is you got to get your head on straight and realize that this program works. You have to have a belief that it works and it'll work for you and for everybody. And then go out there and, and as Jay says, teach and educate as many people as possible. And I will tell you personally, for me, um, the um, number one way that I have raised private money and the number one way that uh, it, it just helps your business in general is to be the expert. And in order to be the expert, in order to become the expert, the easiest way to do that is to do presentations. So, you know, one of the things that I've done is I will go out and I will reach out to the organizers of networking groups, the organizers of uh, service organizations, the organizers of different groups and say, hey, I got something that I would love to share with your members. Um, and uh, do you guys meet on a regular basis? Is there any way that I can get in front of everybody and just share this opportunity with them and let them know what's available for them? And then see if I can get on the schedule to get in front of a group of 5, 10, 50, 100 people, whatever that group size is, and do the presentation that Jay has, right? Jay has a full presentation on raising private money for civic groups as well as for uh, private lenders that you put together doing luncheons or doing anything else. And I tell you, there's no better way of creating credibility, of creating uh, a sense of expertise than getting in front of a group of people and teaching them and educating them. And just because you're the speaker, they look up to you, not because they're sitting down and you're standing up. Well, that's one way. <laughs> they actually look at you because you're sharing information that they don't have. And so, again, creating that sense of urgency in your head and then going out there and doing everything you can. And like I said, for me, you know, when you establish yourself as the expert, people will naturally want to gravitate towards you because you're there helping them and you're teaching them, you're educating them um, with um, things that uh, they've never learned before and the opportunities that are available to them. Right on, Chaffee. Y'all give Chaffee the sophisticated golf clap right there. Awesome. Uh, one of the best networkers, by the way, that I know. Chaffee, you've been running, you've been running your own network, uh, networking group uh, since what year? Every week? You meet every week? Uh, end of 2004, 2005. So, so we're almost, talking 20 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. 20 Every years. week. And, and that's another way that you've uh, established yourself as a, an expert and a connector. And so like in that group, of course, you're the go-to person. So let me summarize what we've been hearing here. So I want you all to write this down. Here's a quote from Dan Kennedy, who I've been following for about 15 or 17 years. And here's a quote I want you to write down. Whether you're raising private money or whatever it is your goal is, in addition to having your head right that Chavi just talked about, here's the answer to achieving whatever you want to achieve. Are you ready? You ready to write this down? Here we go. Quote, the surefire path. The surefire path. In fact, Ashley, you might want to put this in the chat. The surefire path to success. The surefire path to success is to take. The surefire path to success is to take massive, imperfect action every day. Take massive imperfect action every day notice the word imperfect if you're going to wait thank you ashley the surefire <laughs> path of success is to take massive imperfect action every day if you wait until you think you are 100 percent prepared to start taking action you ain't never going to take action right get out there and screw it up royally <laughs> best way i know to get it right ask me how i got it right I messed it up really bad. And I took a lot of imperfect, messed up action. But you know what? I don't believe in mistakes. I believe in lessons. I don't believe in mistakes. I believe in lessons. The thing is, when, when, when you mess it up, okay, what's the lesson? What's the lesson here? Like my first question is, what did I do to cause this or allow this to happen? 
My second question is, what am I going to do about it? <laughs> right? Right. So I want you to write down the three steps. These are my notes that I made prior to this call to answer the question, fastest or next private lender. And um, Banjo stepped all over me. So pooey on you, Banjo. So here's the three steps to success on your fastest or next private lender. Step number one, write down your plan. Write down your plan. This is what you're going to do. Banjo shared his and Erica's plan. She had one plan. He had another plan. Write down your plan. What are you going to do to raise private money? You just heard some specific examples of what you're going to do. Step number two, Crystal can guess what step number two is. Schedule your plan. You're going to write down your plan. You're going to schedule your plan. So Banjo shared He's reaching out. He was reaching out to five people in his warm market a day with one of the scripts. His wife, Erica, was doing the same thing on her social media. So schedule your plan. They knew exactly when they were going to do it. And step number three is execute your plan. Scheduling your plan is no good unless you actually keep your promise to yourself. Right? So let's say I had zero private money. Zero private money. What would I do if I was starting all over from scratch? And I knew the scripts. I knew the direct method. Asking somebody, do you have investment capital or retirement funds? Not giving, your, giving you a high rate of return safely and securely. That's the direct question, magic question. The indirect method is I need your help. If I was starting all over, here, here is what I would do. And it's really hard to choose because we got such amazing strategies that all of us platinum and masterminds implement, right? The first thing I would do is, is I would, I would uh, use the I need your help script. And uh, the I need your help script pretty much goes like this. Whether you're talking with somebody in person or over the phone, uh, I need your help. I've now opened up my real estate investing business to people I know and trust. It's by referral only. I'm now paying insane high rates of returns to my private lenders and investors. And when you run across somebody that's complaining about the returns they're getting at the bank on CDs, the volatility of the stock market, would you refer them to me and I'll tell them about how I'm paying crazy returns. That's the indirect method. I need your help. You're not asking for money. You're asking people, you know, to spread the word. So here's what I would do. I would write down, I'd go through my phone, I'd write down all the centers of influence, the influencers that I know. And I'd call them up and, 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 and ask them for their help. So who are the influencers that you know? Well, write these down. Here's the influencers that you already know. You know realtors. They know a lot of people. The question is, who do you know that knows a lot of people? So realtors. Attorneys and lawyers. They know people with money, <laughs> CPAs, accountants, attorneys. They know people. If you're like Crystal, you're going to call up the mayor <laughs> and you're going to ask the mayor for help because she actually met the mayor at a networking event. And now they go to lunch together and eat scones and drink hot tea. They're just like best of buddies, right? So who do you know that, and by the way, in the private money success system, I actually have a trigger or a checklist of, of, of how you identify these centers of influence and you call them up and you make that script. I, I like what Becky shared as well. And that is private lender luncheons. I mean, you know, it takes the same amount of time to teach the private lending program to, to 20 potential private lenders as it does one. So I love, I love great private lender luncheons, et cetera. With that, speaking of networking, private lender luncheons, learning what the private lending program is, how to raise one million, one and a half million, seven hundred thousand, four and a half million. You've been hearing it here on the live Zoom today. I think that's it. Awesome. Well, y'all, this was a fantastic and amazing Zoom training on private money. Thank you all for taking your time to join us. Look forward to seeing you right here two weeks from right now. Our Platinum and Mastermind members that joined us, thank you so much for your contribution. Thank you, Felicia Cox. I'm glad you got a lot of value out of being here, Felicia. So good to see you there. And Chaffee and Crystal and Banjo and 
Becky and mm. Kara mm. and everybody that joined in. God bless you. Lots of love coming from Moorhead City, North Carolina. We'll see you right here two weeks from today. God bless you. Have a great week. Bye. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.